we are back home and I'll tell you what, it is cold, 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 cold. We're back home. Oh, and the house is about four degrees, huh? Whew. You got, you've assumed your places. <laughs> What a day to welcome us back home, January, in Japan. Pri made us some wonderful food so that when we got back we didn't have to worry about making something and not having anything in the fridge. Working on your kanji for your kanji test tomorrow. And, what's this, are you doing a puzzle too? Well, unfortunately, Malaysian Air ruined a very expensive suitcase of ours. Look at that. So, big old dent in the side, huh? We put in a complaint with the airline. We'll see what they say. Have no clue what the Japanese signs are. We're putting some final touches, it looks like, on our puzzle, huh? The first day back to school <laughs> after vacation. Okay. Are we all loaded up and ready? I have a black gown today. Yes, you are. Say bye bye, mommy. Bye bye, mommy. She did it, she did it, she did it. I love you girls. I'm so proud of you girls. Bye. Today I get to play the part of a tourist and go with my friends from Brazil. We're gonna go check out the Imperial Palace. I've actually never been there in all this time in Japan. So it's time to see it. It's our train, yes, woo! Hi camera. Hi camera. Changing trains. Yes. Okay, yeah, where do we wanna go? Okay, Imperial Palace. Now we can see where we are. Imposing over the entrance of the Imperial Palace is the statue of Kusunoki Masashige, a 14th century samurai who fought for the emperor, saving him from a government overthrow. For many, he is remembered as the ideal of samurai loyalty. He received the highest decoration from the Meiji government of Japan over 500 years later in 1880. The Imperial Palace is the residence of the Emperor of Japan and is situated in the heart of downtown Tokyo. It's cool how you have old Japan right next to new Japan. It's the Imperial Drinking Fountain. It is the epitome of Japan, where ancient and modern are juxtaposed and old and new coexist. Today we are visiting to see for ourselves this impressive place. So we're moving up to the place where you can get the best picture of the palace. You can't actually go into the palace because that's, well, that's where the emperor lives. You have a really good view from here and everyone takes a picture and poses with the palace. Three, two, one, cheese! There are guided tours that take you into the palace grounds itself. However, you must sign up well in advance and they are often full many months out. Here's a job for you. Window washing, about 30 stories up. There you go. Nothing like some wedding pictures in downtown Tokyo, huh? In the heart of Tokyo itself is the famous Tokyo Station, a train station famous for its classical European style and bullet train service. Tokyo really is a place where not only old and new meet, but east and west. Here you
you can see the countdown to the start of the Olympics. It's coming up soon in just 196 days. Look at the ceiling up there. That is cool. Get ready for Big J's fourth birthday party. Theme? Everything Mario. What are you doing? Blowing out balloons. For what? You can't tie it. Oh no. You get ready for your Super Mario birthday party. Yeah. Oh, how exciting. Who made this for you? Do you remember? That Amy. <laughs> Do you want a mustache? No. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is a Mario birthday. No birthday, no birthday. No birthday. Look at that cake, dude. Hi. What an amazing cake, Hi. mommy. Hi. Is this Princess Peach? Oh, how nice to come to Mario's birthday. There's two of them, huh? Okay, should we get some pictures of Mario? Yeah, let's take Okay. Happy birthday to you! Yay! Blow hard! Blow them hard! Blow them out! Try again! Get your air right on there! Get closer! Oh yeah, yeah! Now get the other one! One more! One more! Oh, you almost got it! Jesus, thank you so much for Joshua and the joy that he brings us. Thank you that he is bold and brave, yet humble and compassionate. You're raising him up as a leader of a generation. We just thank you so much, God, for your protection upon him and uh, your guidance upon him. And we just pray that you bless him today. Bless everyone here, Lord God, as your plans and your purposes are worked out in all of our lives and all of our kids. In Jesus' name. So it takes a lot of work to put together and then and then you come and you cut it apart. Okay, cake is served. Cake, popcorn, and some dip. You can have that. My goodness, dude! Just as downtown Tokyo is the heart of the city, family is at the heart of society. Where there are strong families, there are strong societies. We celebrate our kids' birthdays because each and every one of them is special. No matter your background, birth order, ability, gender, or age, you're special. No matter what school you went to or what job you hold, you're one of a kind. No matter what others say about you or what you've accomplished, you are special to God. Everyone deserves a good birthday party, at least once in their life. Hi, look like an Eskimo. Nice and warm. How about you? You got soap on your hands. It's pretty much impossible to be a better uncle than Uncle Paul. <laughs> it's pretty stiff competition with him and the family. Well, dude. That was a super fun Mario day, wasn't it? That was a super Mario day. What's up, man? 
Wow, are we seeing Star Wars or what? Or what? Luke, I am your father. <laughs> <laughs> it is finally happening. We have babysitting. We're going to go on a triple date and see Star Wars. The last time we saw Star Wars, Ruth was huge and pregnant with Joshua. Yeah. And now... I am. <laughs> A hard part about living in Japan is living far away from our parents, but it makes the times that they come and visit us even more special. And it also lets us enjoy a night out without the kids. Oh, yes. All right, we are ready for some Star Wars. Thanks for watching, liking, and subscribing. We'll see you next time for another adventure of life in Japan.